Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Trains Cab Ride video. This time we will be driving this Union Pacific intermodal train. So this time I'm going to show you a little bit of behind the scenes with me doing the switches. This is what I do. I just go along the route and this route may look familiar. It's the same one that I used in my last cab ride video, which that one is my most viewed video, and that is why I'm doing a second one. So thank you. So we'll, we'll be stopping down there. That means you can high junction overlays. I know it's not that long, but these take a really, really long time to make these trains. They take much longer than a manifest because you have to load each one individually. So let's get going, shall we? So we're in forward. Release the train brakes. Yeah. Our headlights are on. Now all that's left is to depart. So we have a UP-9 behind us. the well cars. I really like these well cars. And we can watch it at the crossing. Hmm. It's it's UP nineteen eighty nine, the heritage unit in the lead. Okay, the crossings just deactivated. Let me turn our ditch lights on. Watch it go by yet because it's not going by very quickly. It would be really cool to see see UP 1989. I've never never seen a Union Pacific Heritage unit before. Cause where I live, there aren't many Union Pacific freight trains. Even though I have multiple videos on UP freight trains they're all there it only comes around a couple times a week and it's usually always um ES 44 is pulling in I'm going to take a screenshot of this this is really cool Let's see where. Yeah, if we would have stayed and watched, the end would have just passed us. So, once we get up to speed, maybe I'll watch the whole train go by. So, also, if you guys have any suggestions for videos, 
please let me know. Or if there's any um, certain train you want me to build out of Legos, you, you should put them down there too. So, also, this might be hard to get, but can we get five likes on this video? That would be amazing. Also, please subscribe. You don't have to, but it would make me happy. Um, and yeah, so. The thank you for 33 subscribers. That's awesome. And I'll start doing live streams at a thousand subscribers because that's what YouTube requires. So now I'm gonna watch it. So I put some trailer cars at the beginning. And then the rest is intermodal cars. Well cars. And it's common for Union Pacific trains to have some flatbeds with um, trailers on them. Um, like over on pass and stuff. So the, the detail on these well cars is, is really good. Also, shout out of the day goes to the Santa Paula local rail fan. And TJ the Good Gamer. You should subscribe to both of those channels. They're both really good. about to pass. This is the best crossing on the map right here. It's, it sounds really good. That one also sounds good, but this one sounds even better. This, this road is like the only road that has like really detailed crossings. I wish more routes would do it. Because I think that would be really cool. Like, just look at the traffic lights, that's a lot of detail. The two engines wouldn't be enough to pull the train that well, but they seem to be doing fine. Okay, those gates just went up. These gates should be going up soon. I only wish that these gates um, went down um, like, farther before the train came. That would be nice. So, since you really seem to like the first Cap Ride video, let me know if you want me to make this a series. And if you do, tell me 
in the comments what you want the next one to be. The next cabaret to be like one of my ideas is like down a local freight train that goes like down down the branch line here. That would be cool. Okay, let's... Let's accelerate a little bit. I like these searchlight signals. They look really cool. Also, this, this route isn't a fictitious route. This is the CN Holly Sub, Canadian National Holly Sub. It's in um, Michigan. And Canadian National runs on it, except I think Train Simulator should really add some, like some, some Canadian National GEs because at the moment we only have CN SD40 2s and they don't even look good. They like were designed like really quickly. get ready for this crossing and since this is supposed to be a cab ride we might as well go in the cab Like the mirrors on this look, but I don't really look at them much anyway. This route is good for running local freight trains. It really is. Because there are like sightings and spurs everywhere. The only thing I wish is that there was some sort of connection right here. Because this is the main line. And this is the track that just goes to the end of the map. And I also, I, I do like this crossing though. designed them because like Union Pacific Railroad keep out in case of emergen emergency cow 1-800 equal 1-800 is 
equals 375 equals 8900. I know that's supposed to be a phone number, but I wonder what would happen if you actually called that. If that's like an Easter egg or something. So, if you want, I'm going to give you a little overview of the route. This is the route and we are here. This is, that is the end of the route. So we'll just go to, go to that. Oh, that looks cool. With the well cars. Excuse me, bridge. Yeah, you can see the CN signs. Like, I like Canadian National, I just don't run any Canadian National trains on this route. Because that's, they just don't look good. Because there's like no modern power. Which, like, I wish they put like more quality into some of the trains and the trains that have quality are like, more like two dollars when they're released now, but luckily the super detail um, SD70 ACE was only one dollar. So once we like get into town, I'm going to stop. I'm gonna say that the Duran, Michigan station is the stopping point, is a crew change point, so I'll go in the cab until there. I think like this area looks really cool. That's mm. like the plains. Like the, sn the snowy plains. Or the, the kind of snowy plains. Okay, we got a crossing. We got another crossing down here. And then this is just a track that that goes to nowhere. Down hmm. this. This is where we're going to end. Now there's one thing that, like when I had just bought this route, that always confused me. It was right here. I thought this was a crossing because there's a truck right here and, and there's a road right there so it looks like it, it looks like that's a crossing and there's a car at it. But, so I'd always whistle at it. Also, how am I speeding if I'm going the speed limit? Okay, that's better. So we're going to start slowing down, so I'm going to put the dynamic brake on. Notch three. Mm 
going to put it on full. Because we're not slowing down that fast. I like the brake squeal. So, bye guys. Thanks for watching.